Oh, how we doing everyone? Hope everyone's having a good day today. Starting to chill, uh, cool down, be a little chilly. We're in western New York, a little town called Forceville. That's where we hang up our hat and our chaps. This is our little firewood processing station. Put logs up on there, measures them for you. Takes all the guesswork out of it. I came up with this myself. You just put the logs on here. So this chalk is a log. You can stack them as many as you want up to the sides. And then you pretty much keep this right side free. And you just take your logs and you slide all the way down to the end. It touches that bump stock right there. And that's 16 inches from the edge of that pallet to that piece of wood right there. So every piece is 16 inches exactly. It takes the guesswork out of it. Once the log is loaded up on here, it's cut and it drops down into a trailer and it's hauled off. So there's no, I don't have to touch it multiple times. We try to touch the wood as less as possible. Uh, it's just easier that way. The more times you move it, the more work you're doing for yourselves. Um, ordered some chains. They're not here yet. I don't know what's going on with shipping or whatever. Um, so we're gonna be using the 550 XP Mark II. This saw really doesn't get any love. Uh, I only use it once in a great while. It's my solace, smallest CC saw. It's a 50 CC, but it still works. It's great. And a little muffler mod that I got on it tunes it up a little bit. It's nice and perky. So that's that. Um, we're going to go over real quick and put some marks on some wood. This is the logging trail that we got to open up. I want to get some wood chips or something in here to even this out more, raise it up a little bit and make it a nice little road. But as you can see, at least we can go in and out now here. Before you could only pretty much have a little alleyway. Now it's actually wide enough to get a wagon or a lawnmower wagon or an ATV back in here. So just got to clean up the small stuff that's in the ground still. Um, there's a few widow makers back there that we got to take down. Uh, very small stuff. You can see actually they're swaying pretty good in the wind right now. They might even take themselves down at some point. Uh, there's a good five or six grove right there of dead ass that need to come down. They'll all be felled this way in this direction. Um, that'll be another day. It's a little too windy to fell timber today. I don't feel like taking nothing down. We have a bunch of logs over here that we have already have down uh, that we just have to get access to. I can go this way. I'll probably just walk around this way. I'll show you guys. But I need to get those logs out of there in the easiest way possible. So I think almost we're going to clear this out right here and open this up. Um, or maybe even farther down because it's not as bad over here if we just make another trail right in here the ground's a little soft but I got I got chains on my tires so it should be fine um, but if we make a trail right in here then we can back the trailer up pretty much to right here in this area where I'm standing I can pretty much get all this wood right in the wagon right here so that's gonna be the best route it looks like um, everyone does their stuff differently. Uh, I kind of, this is, we're systematically kind of logging the dead ash out of this forest. Um, the emerald ash borer came along, messed everything up, and uh, infested all of our local trees. So everything pretty much has to come down or is falling down or is in the process of falling down. So, yeah, fun stuff. So, but we'll go ahead and uh, start getting some marks on some trees. That way, there's firewood down back here. We can easily get it out um, this I'm not going to cut up yet just because I want to clear up this trail so I'll probably just snip it here and then open it up um, this is going to be a whole probably day just getting all this cleared out and opened up um, the grass cut down and pretty much just like a little trail had established where we can go in and out here these are all the logs we got down last time we dropped some some timber we had a good amount that we were able to get done I don't know, everyone does their stuff differently. This is kind of how I do it. Probably should use the brighter chalk, but it'll work. I know a lot of guys, they just eyeball it, but I'm selling for production base cords, so I want my pieces to be consistent. Customers don't really want inconsistent stuff we mark our our cutoffs with an X that's at least how I do it I don't know how you guys do it I 
Ow, pricker. So this little 50cc saw should be more than capable of taking care of this little project. It's just a lot of bending because it's a shorter bar. So we'll buckle a little bit of it up, probably just here, and then we'll wait for our chains to come in the mail. I don't like bending, I got a bad back. I know a lot of you other guys and gals got bad backs and problems as well. So we gotta do what is the easiest for us and uh, less painful. Don't let people tell you, oh, you know, don't do it this way because, you know, whatever. Well, if you got to do it a certain way because you have medical conditions and you're not able to bend that way anymore, as long as you're doing it safe, like, nothing wrong with it. There's more than one ways to skin a cat, as they say, you know? So. Ooh, that's fun. That's gross. Let's cut that piece off. These are the same length. I can only I only gotta do one of these at a time. I know this is a process, but to each their own. That's how I do it. It's an aeroplane. Alright, so let's get this a little bit bucked up real quick and then uh, we'll be good to go. Get this trail opened up here. We're able to bring the wagon in and out of here and get a load out. I was carrying the whole logs out, but it's more work. The smaller stuff it's easy to carry to this little station over here and to trim up if you got a bunch of you know three or four inch diameter trees. Works great. Bigger logs, you got to bring them all the way over here. If you've got a tractor, it's great. You can load it from the other side, take these down, load it from the other side, make these shorter and then just drop them all with the tractor with forks on the top but i ain't got a tractor unfortunately so this is the way we do it so yeah all right hopefully this has gas and oil because i didn't make sure it had either or um oh look at that this is why we keep gas and oil outside and back here before i was keeping it up before i was keeping the oil up at the, the house and it was pain in the butt to go get it every time Fill her up. Not going to be doing a lot of cutting today, just a little bit. My main saw, the 562, I don't have any more chains for it. I got to sharpen the ones I have, and I don't feel like doing that today. I want to get what's work done. So we grab another saw and we just go. The 395 is a little heavy for uh, what I'm doing. It will take less time, but. I don't know, we'll make some cuts with this, and if I don't like the speed of it and the bending, which I know I'm not going to really care for because it's a shorter bar, but as long as that's not a huge issue, we'll use this, and then if I have to, I'll bust out the 395, but a 32-inch bar is a little bit overkill for this, but it will make the work very quick nonetheless, so. All right. We've got this log here marked, and then we got that one couple of those so we'll get her going how's everyone's day going hope everyone's having a blast beautiful day here it's getting a little cooler but that's a nice working environment so i press the deep or no deca no decomp on this uh primer ball five or six times put it up to high or whatever let it rip My, tree, my bar got pinched in one of these trees. I put a ratchet strap to this stump here, pulled it back off the saw, got the saw out, released the strap, and then just made an alternative cut and took it down no problem. So if you ever get your bar stuck and you got a tree pinched down on your bar and you can't get it off because the tree sat back on your cut, take a ratchet strap, 
make sure it's a three inch one or a two inch good for like at least you know a couple thousand pounds crank on that puppy a little bit and you'll be good to go so <laughs> this saw. I forgot how much how fun this was. This one revs really, really high. Love it. Alright, let's do it. chisel on this so hit the ground no big deal My chairs will hit the ground, no big deal.
See that, that's new. These pines are sketchy. This is one we took down. This one sat back and went backwards, unfortunately. So you always gotta watch out. But we got it down. There's a good amount of lumber back here, timber back here. Just gotta get it out. The smaller stuff can just be dragged out, but bigger rounds are gonna have to be carried out. So this is gonna be the new area we're gonna be focusing on currently. This seems where all the medium sized wood is. Uh, so we'll go ahead and continue to cut, cut this stuff up. And we're gonna get a little trail back here. I'll probably, we'll cut down that piece there and get that opened up. That way we can get back here um, with a trailer and start loading up these rounds and get them processed. Cause that's the easiest way to do it. Carrying the whole logs out and putting them on top of that thing. It's more steps. If you got small little stuff like this stuff, scrawny stuff, that you can drag easily and throw up there. You can cut five or six at a time. It goes pretty quick, yeah and you save time. But anything over like this size here, uh, that, that's not really made for that. It's just not how it was designed. Unless you got a front end loader and you can constantly keep loading them. Yeah, I mean, it'll keep working, but the main part is keeping that loaded. I can process wood fast as you can give it to me, but keeping that loaded is the thing that's slowing me down currently. So I think the next step is the tractor, front end loader, something where I can load logs um, from the top. So looks like that's what we got going on right now. Um, I am starting to wear high vis because it is hunting season out currently and my neighbors do hunt. There is a hunting uh, stand right there from the previous people who lived here um, and the neighbor back there I know for sure hunts. So keep wearing high vis so we're good to go. No one gets killed. Everyone's happy. It's a good time. So we'll go ahead and get the get out of here. Like I said, these are all going to get chopped up. Um, a lot of these whole logs is probably going to be worth it to yard them out first and then cut them instead of hauling individual pieces out of here because it's just more more and more but for right now we got the entrance kind of opened up to our cut right here that we're going to be working on and uh, like I said the next step is just to get this stuff cleared out here and opened up that way we can get um, stuff back here and we're able to do work so we'll go ahead and get this uh, trimmed up real quick
this all opened up and uh, cleared out we'll make a little trail like how we did there but right now most of the woods seems like it's over on this side of the woods here right in this back section here I mean I have that trail down opened up farther but I don't know I think that'd be more harder to clear a trail out there and then do a 90 degree turn versus have another trail that starts right here and goes all the way out have to avoid this stump probably come right through here honestly but all these trees that are in the ground got to get pulled and that's a huge pain in the butt a lot of work a lot of effort a lot of them are submerged in mud and dirt all the way and fully underground so I don't know really need a tractor if I had a tractor it'd be a lot easier maybe we'll pay someone to open this up it would save a lot of time and energy and then I could just get the money out of here with the firewood because there's tons of wood just got to get access to it this is, like I said, this was all for me. Before this was all overgrown on both sides. I've harvested every single dead ash within pretty much almost sight here, besides the ones over there. Those ones, like I said, are already cut down. They're just lean. They gotta get taken down with a winch. Not a big deal. We get high winds. They'll probably just come down by themselves. No one comes back here, so it's not an issue at all. So, but yeah. Thanks for guys for watching. Uh, I think we're at like, 6,000 some subscribers now. I don't know a lot. Can't thank you guys enough If you guys like to see this, you know backwoods logging solo operation Not having equipment The everyday average guy just making it work. This is your channel. This is your new home You're gonna live with me now in the words of Goonies <laughs> uh, But yeah, I hope thanks everyone for watching. Hope everyone had a good time 
If you like this, like and subscribe. We're going to get this opened up. We're going to get a whole lot of more wood out of here. Uh, I got some new toys as far as uh, camera equipment goes and stuff. So we'll be getting a whole lot of different angles. We got a gimbal. Uh, we got a different mount for my iPad so we can record on that as well as the phone. We'll get multiple angles. And the best thing of all, cherry on top, I'm going to start editing my videos. It went from pretty much just uploading raw clips of everything to I really want to do what everyone else is doing and have like actual videos released where there's you know editing and you know some transitions if possible i'm going to work on the transitions for now we're just working on the editing and doing start to finish and video chronological order that way you guys can see the start to process you know the whole thing you don't have to watch 17 different videos not everyone wants to do that and i'm kind of realizing that now so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and get this uh wrapped up here we're gonna go ahead and get that opened up as soon as possible and get those logs out of there the biggest thing, like I said, is making access back there to get the wagon slash trailer back there so we can get the wood out. That way we're not walking round by round out of the woods on a trail because that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah, that's the game plan and that's what we're going to do. See you guys in the next one. Boost Addict, out!